You can mess with me, but don't mess with my bubble. <laughs> That's what um, Audrey here is pretty much saying because oh. <laughs> she's really upset that some dude ghosted her mom and she wanted to know why and we got answers for her. Hey, Audrey. Hey. I understand you're very, very, very protective of your mom as you should be. So tell us what got <laughs> us here. Okay, well, basically, my mom got out of a really crappy marriage and has finally gotten to the point where she was ready to date again. So, my siblings and I have just been super happy and excited for this new chapter in her life. And my brother met a guy when he was out the other night. And basically, him and my sister-in-law met this guy when he was sitting at a bar and they were out to dinner, right? So, uh, then they thought, okay, this guy seems really great for our mom. So, they asked him if he was open for it, and he's like, yeah, sure. So, obviously, we were super excited, and my mom was, too, after hearing about it. So, my mom and this guy went out two weeks ago, and, you know, she left the date, and she was group texting us, and it was, like, such a magical night, and, you know, thanked us for being super supportive. And it's basically been two weeks, and... She's, like, more self-conscious than ever because he has totally ghosted her. Aww. Oh, the first date post-resort and uh, post-divorce and he mm. ghosted her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's not feeling the greatest. Mm. And I try to tell her, like, Mom, you're hot. Like, it has nothing to do with you. Like, trust me. And she's like, no, no, no. Like, I don't think so. You know, something's wrong or whatever. So, I was just wondering if you guys might be able to, like, help me find out. Like, maybe I can give you his number or you guys can reach out to him or something. Yeah, this is one of the few times you can turn around your parents' words and say, um, welcome to the real world. (laughs) 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 Younger women have been going through this for years now, right? No, I understand the insecurity here um, on mom's part. Mm -hmm. Look, it's really, really tough. Uh, As a guy that's been divorced, Mm -hmm. um, going Mm -hmm. out on that first date after when you've been out of the pool for so long, it's terrifying, right? But you got to get that first one out of the way. And when it ends up in a ghosting situation, which she hasn't felt in years and years, if ever, I can understand how, as a daughter, you'd be like, when you want to find out, you want reasons. You want oh, answers. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I believe that we will have, Tommy, you have results yes. here? Okay. So you want to tell her exactly what you did? Yeah. I reached out. Audrey gave me the guy's number, and I texted with him. Uh, we're going to call him Rob. And, uh, Audrey, I have good news, and I have bad news. The bad, I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is it is uh, something about your mom. That is why he oh. is not going for the second date. How long Uh-oh. did it take him to uh, hit you back on his Blackberry? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why do you say that? He does come across as a little elderly. But uh, it, it, was, it was in relative good time. Um, but the good news is, is I think your mom dodged a bullet here. Because I won't give it away yet, but you'll see why. I said, uh, hey, Rob, my name's Tommy. I work with the Bird Show. And he hit me back. He said, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar. What is that? And I said, we're a morning radio show and a podcast. FM. And he said, that's really really thrown (laughs) off. I said, okay. Uh, Or he said, uh, okay, hello, Tommy with the Bird Show. What's this about? And I said, well, we got a message from a woman named Audrey. She mentioned that her mom went on a date with you recently. And, well, she's a bit confused because it seems like things were going well. But then you kind of disappeared. And she's a bit disappointed for her mom. And then Rob said, I don't know a woman named Audrey. Who's her mom? And I said, of course, her mom is Carol. You went out a couple of weeks ago. And he said, yes, that's correct. And how does this concern you and the Burt Show, Tommy? It's very formal. (laughs) (laughs) And I said, well, we often do a segment where we find out why second dates don't happen when one party thinks they had a great first date. Audrey says you ghosted her mom, and she's hoping you could shed some light on why there's been no second date. What's ghosting, youngster? Well, That's exactly what he no. said. <laughs> he, said really? he said, I ghosted, question mark? What does that mean? <laughs> and I said, ghosted basically means you disappeared on him and ended all communication. And he goes, right, well... I guess I ghosted then because there's no need to continue communicating with someone you just met but have no intention of going forward with. And I said, I understand, but Audrey's hoping for a bit more of an explanation. What happened on the date 
or was there something specific you didn't like about her mom, Carol? And he goes, mm. yes, there was. Oh my goodness. And then two okay. words. Her feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said. What? I said what the, her feet. What, that she had to? I said, <laughs> no, no, no. Or did she I not said, have enough feet? I said, <laughs> what was the problem? Here? I said her feet. And he goes, correct. And I was like, you can't be serious. I had the same exact re reaction you guys are at. And he said, I'm very serious. Her feet just weren't my cup of tea. Didn't y'all ever watch the movie Boomerang? Yes. Feet yes, are a course. big deal. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a good callback. We, we have a Burt's Big Adventure mom that was in that movie. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you later. Uh -huh. And sure. I said, you're saying you won't go on a second date with her because of her feet. And he said, yes, that is correct. And I said, I feel like you're pulling my leg. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't mean it like that. He said, very clever, Tommy. He had the same reaction. And I said, no pun was intended. Your prosthetic leg? <laughs> <laughs> not pulling, not, he said, not pulling anyone's leg. I just have a preference. Her feet were a bit big for my taste. I and I'm very it. particular wow. about the shape and length of each toe. Fam. Yeah. Well, I have a type. Oh, weirdo. Right. And I said, you saw her feet on the first date? And he said, I certainly did. She was wearing sandals. If she hadn't been, I would have asked she remove her shoes <laughs> so <laughs> I could see. Oh, so this and, is not a, a mom problem. Here. And I, no. I said, okay, well, I think that's a lame reason to blow off a relationship, but I guess everyone has their deal breakers. Thanks for your time. And he said, you are welcome. So evidently, dude has a yeah. foot fetish. Okay. So this no, is not. No, he doesn't have a foot uh, fetish. He's beyond that. He has a foot type. <laughs> he has a foot preference. Yeah, yeah semantics. <laughs> so this is not a, a a your mom thing. It's a it's a Ralph thing. Please tell her th it's, his name is Rob. I just that feel, an older name feels like Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's correct. My step grandfather's named Ralph. There you go. <laughs> um, so just yeah, let let your mom know there was literally yeah. literally nothing she could do on this date. No. Mm -mm. Literally yeah, nothing. How about wearing closed toe shoes? <laughs> 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 well, that might help. God, my mom didn't get involved with him. He sounds. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know. Hey, I know, you, I know you want to nurture your mom through this whole process. It's just tough out there. It doesn't matter what generation it is, right? No, totally. I agree. All right. Um, again, tell her not a her thing, a him thing. You got your info. She dodged a bullet. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Definitely appreciate it. Bye-bye. The Bird Show.